Esther and Barbara and Mark and many have been traveling together often on airplanes together and things going very 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 well flying with Southwest crowing about their on-time departures and arrivals their excellent baggage handling everything about it is satisfying to Esther except that the seats are narrow so a week or two ago she was on an airplane had three hours that she was going to get some wonderful work done she was going to work on the files from the seminar and so she got out her laptop put in her earphones waited until she heard the 10,000 foot ding and then <laughs> opened her computer and the seat was so close she could not open the screen <laughs> <laughs> so she pulled it up tight against her and managed to get it open and got the earphones in and thought I'm not doing much typing I can probably manage this and the man in front of her put his seat back <laughs> so her laptop now is pointed at her belly button <laughs> and she could not get her head low enough to see the screen and she said to Barbara I want to fly first class <laughs> I want to fly first class I want to be able to spread out I want to have a drink when I got on the airplane I want to feel really good and I want to be able to work and so Barbara said all right so Barbara booked two seats for Esther and Barbara on Delta <laughs> The airline that stranded them in Atlanta on several occasions. <laughs> Lots of memory about Delta. Mm. Lots of unfinished vibrational business. <laughs> so when they got on their Delta flight, leaving Washington, D.C., the plane was broken. <laughs> now, why do you rendezvous with a broken plane because you have vibrational alignment with unwanted things we cannot explain it in any other way mm -hmm. nothing freakish or out of alignment with how you feel ever happens so now Esther is in a position where she's gonna have to get another bus and start driving <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna do that but what we're getting at is you got to clean up your vibration you've got to decide what you're doing and line up with it in other words Delta could have delivered to them perfect airplanes it just was not their ex Esther's expectation mm -hmm. Esther was the dominant participant in this equation mm -hmm. was not her expectation and then something shocking happened Delta employees one after another were rude to Esther <laughs> Esther couldn't believe it she's been crowing about how nice people are how nice they always are it feels like I'm moving on this carpet of well-being like there's an entourage out there ahead not with Delta <laughs> not with Delta Delta has tens of thousands of employees 1% of them are rotten eggs and Esther met all rotten eggs <laughs> now what source doing about this in other words Esther saying Abraham can't you do anything you were having a good laugh <laughs> Abraham where'd you guys go Jerry where are you guys somebody needs to call someone and we say everyone's been called everyone's been called you just disconnected from the party line and and you are disallowing Esther's going to find no one's going to want to travel with her now <laughs> now they find how powerful she is well we're making a very good point here because as you're moving through your life experience everything that happens to you is coming in response to what's going on with you vibrationally mm -hmm. and you have access to a stream of energy to the energy that creates worlds and once you become accustomed to that stream then anything less than that is really hard to take so it doesn't take very much disconnection by yourself from something that you really want in order to get your attention and cause you to beat the drum of that just a little bit more but it's always the same law of attraction is eternally fair 
and the source within you is always focused upon what you want and it's up to you to prepare your grid mm -hmm. and so when Esther thought back about it after the fact she was really sort of teasing about that she was feeling some discomfort about wanting to be in first class and not wanting to buy first class tickets for everyone that was flying with her mm -hmm. in other words that is not a logical thing to do and yet she felt uncomfortable being there Several of the men who are flying with her are much bigger than she is and much more uncomfortable in those narrow seats than she is. So she's controverted about it. In other words, her energy is in a scramble about it and her experience reflected the scramble that she's got going on. Mm -hmm. In other words, until she cleans it up, things can't get better. And it's that way for all of you about everything you see. Mm -hmm. So now, this is the big piece that we are introducing recently and really talking to Esther about it every time she will sit and write with us and listen with that sincere desire that she always has to understand something that she is living and that is that you must not feel bad about your negative creating but you keep wanting to do that in other words oh if I had really been doing what I should have been doing then this would not have happened if I had cleaned up my energy the way I know that I do what have I done wrong and we so want to emphasize nothing has gone wrong you have had a clarifying experience that has made you decide something and it's made you decide hopefully from a situation it's made you decide not only what you want with greater clarity but that sort of in Esther's words a no-brainer it's not hard to know what you do want when you're living what you don't want so not only have you decided with greater clarity what you do want but hopefully you've decided that you're going to do something about lining up with what you want in other words it would have taken very little effort for Esther to on the morning or the day before or the week before at the purchasing of the ticket time of the flight to acknowledge the benefit and the appreciation that she feels for that particular airline and she said frequently I really 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 like this big wide comfortable first-class seat but what she was really saying is I don't like those uncomfortable seats where I can't put my computer up in other words her vibration wasn't about what she wanted it was justifying why she didn't want the other mm -hmm. so now mm -hmm. the universe says to her Esther we love you so much but we cannot arbitrate on your behalf outside the limits of your own vibrational offering this is a wonderful exposure to a real life experience that is not only going to make you want bigger wider more comfortable seats it's going to make you want to line up with what you want rather than have the experience of lining up with what you don't want because it can go either way every time for all of you you see you have the power to control your experience you do not have one legitimate complaint or gripe you do not have a legitimate complaint against anything but you could legitimately complain about your own unwillingness or apparent unwillingness to be aware of your own grid and to prepare your grid if we were standing in your physical shoes before we would book an airline flight we would say first let me prepare my grid and we would spend time thinking about every pleasant flight we had ever had mm -hmm. or at least mm -hmm. enough of them that we got the juices flowing mm -hmm. before we would enter a space where we're going to be interacting with other people we would prepare our grid by thinking about every pleasant person you've ever encountered you have the ability to prepare your grid for the receiving of what is not a crapshoot it's not a thing that is based on statistics to prepare yourself for the absolute inevitable outcome of the vibrational frequency that you've established relative to this subject that is at hand mm. don't you love knowing that I do don't you love I knowing do. that I do and don't you love having an experience every now and again to remind you of that and don't you feel better in the deliberate creation of what you want than in the stumbling into it by default mm -hmm. and don't you like those wake-up calls that let you know that you're becoming complacent and that you can't slip back into those old thoughts that you've thought so often about things that you now have a fresh approach you now have a different vantage point you can see through the eyes of source mm -hmm. you can Absolutely. because source looks with clarity and strength and intensity source is looking on and not in a frivolous way ever an appreciation yeah always yeah. appreciation and expectation mm -hmm. expectation yes. of wonderful outcomes mm -hmm. every time good thank you yes thank indeed. you very much yes,